In this video, we'll load and adjust a Viking sprinkler family using the Viking tools for Revit. Here we have a very simple plan with a ceiling that's been inserted and created at 8 foot for reference. We will load and insert a pendant sprinkler at that 8 foot elevation. I'm working in Revit 2019 for this example. First you will select the Viking tab in the Revit ribbon to start. The Viking tab can coexist with other applications that you may have installed without conflict. In this example, I'll load a pendant sprinkler from the family portion of the Viking tools. And for this example, I will load a Viking extended coverage sprinkler. When you select the category from the list, a dialog will open with the available sprinklers ready for further filtering. All of the extended coverage sprinklers are shown in this list and you can filter on anything that's in the description. In the description there are HSW for horizontal sidewalls, DP for pendant, and UP for upright. You can also filter on finishes. So if you want a pendant white finished sprinkler, enter PD white in the filter box and only those sprinklers are available in the list. Everything else is filtered out. In this example, I'm going to select the VK608 and then select the desired temperature. Here I select the 135 degree. The selection process allows you to get to the exact part number for this project. Once you select a specific sprinkler, it is loaded into the model and is ready for insertion into the floor plan or ceiling plan. The first parameter to set is the elevation, so that if you want the sprinkler at 8 foot to match the ceiling, this is the offset value as defined by Revit. Insert the sprinkler at or near the desired location. You can use basic Revit commands and tools to fine-tune the location, move, copy, rotate, etc. Now view the, the sprinkler from a section view to make sure that you've set the values correctly for this family. You will see the 8-foot ceiling and the sprinkler has been inserted at 8 feet. The insertion point is the deflector for our families. I can adjust the necessary elevation of the deflector in relationship to the ceiling, and I will set the sprinkler offset so I can adjust this to half inch, and the sprinkler is lowered by that amount below the ceiling. You'll notice that the entire frame of the sprinkler moves. I can also show the recessed escutcheon by selecting that checkbox. You can turn the visibility on or off as desired. So here is a VK608 extended coverage sprinkler inserted into my floor and ceiling plan with my desired adjustments. If you need to change the deflector adjustments further, just change the value in the sprinkler offset parameter. Notice that the offset value for the sprinkler is still at 8 feet for the Revit default. This option is designed to limit the amount of calculations that you need to do to properly elevate the sprinkler. If the ceiling height changes, for example, from 8 foot to 9 foot, you could just change that offset value to 9 foot, and you'll still have the same adjustment value of the half inch or three quarter inch uh, the adjustment to the deflector below the ceiling. That, that doesn't change. If you're using the standard supplied Revit MBP template pipe and fittings, we provide another adjust, adjustment option. The pipe connector for the sprinkler is at the end of the sprinkler thread, and the connector for the uh, supplied fitting from Revit is the face of the reducing fitting. We provided another option to adjust for the makeup of the sprinkler into the fitting. 
Notice that the pipe is adjusted, not the sprinkler. It's a simple checkbox to select that option. Today, many pipe and fitting families available uh, from manufacturers and suppliers include this thread makeup, but this is here if you need it, just for a working sample from a standard Revit MEP model. Thanks for watching.